The attic at East Beach is a place where local artists, more than 50 of them, can sell their creations. But the owner here says a dramatic rent increase is forcing her to close her doors. So this is my second home. It's like half of my condo is furnished with things um, from here. Ditea Lewis is a huge fan of the attic at East Beach. She says she's shocked to hear the news. I was just so upset because she's just such a great person. I love how she gives opportunities to up and coming artists. Um, she's just so fair with her prices. But it's almost time to renew the lease and the owner says the increase would be crippling. I expected the rent to go up some, but to go up $1,300 a month is really excessive. I mean, I just can't, I can't afford it. It's very heartbreaking because I've put a lot of work and effort into the shop. The owner tells me she is looking for another location to rent, but so far can't afford what's available. This grandmother said it's tough to see a business make it through COVID only to close now. It's our, our place to go. Like to, today we were there looking for Mother's Day gifts for their mom. I hate to, to see this kind of stuff happening to people. And in Virginia Beach, a similar shop Cottage Lunacy is closing its doors this weekend after clawing its way through the pandemic. For us, uh, we just could not catch up from COVID. We were closed for those 10 weeks and um, didn't have any sales. This past January and February were the slowest ever, and it was just, it's hard to pay the rent. And here in Red Mill Commons, the Cottage Lunacy will have their last day tomorrow from 10 to 6, but the owner said she plans to keep their website up and continue to do mobile crafting workshops. In Virginia Beach, Angela Bohan, News 3.